Aloha! Welcome back to the eighth episode of our Moai series here at Practical Printing. If you're not familiar with the Moai printer, there are links in the descriptions down below. Feel free to pause it here and go check it out. It is a great looking laser SLA printer. If you're inclined to buy one, I do have affiliate links down there as well. So without further ado, tonight we are going to work on getting this calibrated, getting it leveled, and getting it ready to print. So let's go do it. Okay, so we're going to cover two parts tonight. The first one is going to be checking the X and Y, Z coordinates of the Galvo to make sure that they are calibrated the way that the factory sent it. The second one is going to be leveling the build platform. So with that, let's go over to the computer and take a look at where we find out this information on how to do it. Okay, so here on the PO Poly website under support, working off the same build guide that we were using for the first several steps of assembling this. When we scroll down, we'll get to the hardware test and calibration section, and it points us to this guide here. Going to ha go ahead and open this, and we're going to walk through the steps of this. Okay, so the first tools that we're going to need for this is we're going to need an SD card, and in that instruction file, it points you to a G-code file that you're going to need to download and put onto your SD card. It's important to note the part that says that you need to create a folder called G-code and put your G-code in that folder, not onto the root of the SD card. We're also going to need to print out the circle test and make sure that you follow the directions on the website as well, depending on if you're using A4 paper or letter size paper here in the US. We're going to need the tweezers that were included. We're going to need the VAT. And you're going to need the nut driver for adjusting the bed leveling. Also, while not mentioned in the calibration guide, you are going to want your laser safety glasses since you will be looking in at the laser. So let's go ahead and start working on calibrating the build plate. Okay. Per the manual here, what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we are going to insert the vat. And just push it in all the way. You want to be careful not to touch the PDMS layer any more than you need to. That is the silicone layer that's sitting in the middle. And you want to try to set this print as close to center as possible. Also, I have this on here, but you want to make sure for this part that you have the build plate removed. And we can set that aside in here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the SD card, going to power the unit up. I'm going to go ahead and place my safety glasses on. We're going to navigate to print, select our G code folder, select the P1 test G code, and hit yes. That's going to adjust the bed level. It's going to bring down the arm for the build plate, and it's going to start running the laser in a circular pattern. Once it does that, you can reach in gently with your tweezers and kind of nudge this paper. And what you want to do is get it so that the circle lines up with and follows the trace of the, I'm sorry, the laser lines up and follows the trace of the circle. 
in both the X and the Y direction here. Just about there. That looks to be pretty spot on. Okay. Now you do want to make sure that you have your laser glasses when you're looking down at the laser. Now the purpose of this test, let me close that door there. The purpose of this is to tell us if the galvo is coordinated in the XY directions. If the galvo is properly aligned at the factory, it will be able to maintain that perfect circle and run around that trace consistently like it is right now. So here we have a successful test. I'm going ahead and reach around and just hit the power off to turn that back off. And I can take the laser safety glasses back off. Okay, it is worth noting at this point that this is more of a visual test than an actual scientific test. We're not necessarily looking for it to be making an absolutely perfect circle at this point. We just want to make sure that it is moving fairly close in the X and the Y axis. You will have a chance to refine it and make sure that it is swinging a perfect circle and it is dimensionally accurate at a calibration point down the road. Okay, this next step is going to be leveling the build plate to the vat. And this is probably the most important part of the calibration process. It is essential that you have a very tight layer between the build plate and the PDMS surface in the vat because you need a very solid first layer of your print. Because the way an SLA printer works is it raises the print, it's basically upside down from FDM or standard printing, it raises the print upside down out of the tank, you have to have a very good adhesion on that first layer. So I've went ahead and put the build plate back on and removed the test pattern from the vat. And let me show you what we're going to be doing here. Inside here we have four screws that keep the bed plate level. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's two back on the other sides in opposing areas there and there. Okay, we're going to step around to the front. We're going to power it up, and this is going to cause two things to happen. One is the build plate is going to zoom to the top, find its home, and secondly is the vat is going to do a tilt test. Once that finishes, we can go into setup on the menu, We can go down to advanced settings and go to our Z reset position. If it says 1880, you want to change it to 1879 and then change it back to 1880. If it's any other value besides 1880, you want to set it to 1880 to start. Then you can double click the knob and it's going to cause the build plate to drop all the way down into the vat. At this point, we can power off the printer and we can step around to the side and to adjust the nuts and make sure that it's level. What we're going to do, we're going to back these off, righty tighty, lefty loosey, and there are springs on top of each of these nuts that allow the vat and the build plate to basically self-level up against each other. This side of the printer you need to get the tool through the holes to back it off. Around the wires if necessary. And back it off. So now at this point I'm just going to leave that hanging there. At this point, the springs that are up inside here, ab above this plate, are pushing the, the surface into the vat so that everything is connecting and contacting each other. Now we're going to find ourselves a small sheet of paper to, do, to test with. And you're going to use the paper above these screws here 
as you tighten them up. And what you want to do is tighten those up so that the nut is just touching the metal surface. So you want to tighten it up until that the paper won't pull out. And then just give it a nudge so that it's all the way there. Okay, once you've adjusted the nuts and it's level, you're going to want to power it back up. It's going to rehome that and do the tilt test again. And now we're going to do just like we did before in the menu. We're going to go into Setup, Advanced Settings, and back to our Z reset position. But this, oops, wrong one. There we go. This time we're going to set it to 1877. Double click our way out, and this is going to drop all the way back down. Once it finishes doing that, you have now have your bed leveled and the printer is completely calibrated. As soon as it finishes, we will power it off, power it back on again just to bring the build plate back to the top. Okay, that now completes the calibration and leveling process. If you do need to do micro adjustments on the bed at some other time, just remember those four nuts that tightening the nut lowers the vat, loosening the nut raises the vat. So if you find any of your corners are slightly off or you need to tweak that value. Okay, the last step of the calibration adjustment process is to print a file that is included on the SD card. We're not going to do that today. I, instead, I'm going to cover that in a separate video where I'll walk through starting up the file and cover it with a time lapse of the print itself happening. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this edition of our Moai series. Thank you for watching Practical Printing. If you like what we're doing, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to be notified when the next episode of the series is out. And with that, I bid you aloha.